Hi guys, welcome to In This International Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very easy instant recipe using the instant pot. We're going to make instant pot chicken biryani. Now you could call it chicken biryani or maybe call it chicken pulao. Uh, probably the latter is more, uh, you know, a better definition because biryani is when you def you cook the chicken separately, the rice separately, and then you mix both of them together in the same pot and you again cook it for some time. But here what we are going to do today is actually cook both the chicken and the rice together along with a blend of spices and everything together in the same pot. And so you have a one pot meal. So either way, whatever name you decide to call it, it doesn't matter because this dish is going to be really fabulous for two reasons. Number one, because it's so easy. You can just cook it, you know, everything together, dump it into the instant pot and cook it. And number two, it's going to taste fabulous that your entire family is going to just love. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I have about one and a half piece of um, chicken and these are drumstick pieces I like to use. I have made some slits on it so that the spices penetrate. Then I have a one and a half cups of basmati rice which I have washed and soaked. Have uh, lemon juice, ginger garlic paste, some onions, and then whole spices like bay leaf, cardamom, black pepper, and cinnamon sticks. And I have some of the other spices which I'll tell you in a second. I have biryani masala, or you can use garam masala if you don't have that. Um, I like to make my own biryani masala. The recipe includes that as well. If you like that, I like to make that yourself. So now I'm going to add, um, I added the salt and then red chili powder or Kashmiri chili powder is what I use, a turmeric powder. And uh, next I'll add the ginger garlic paste, a two teaspoon of it. And also add the lemon juice and next I'm just going to mix everything well using my hands uh, to coat or cover the chicken piece as well and um, and then I like to let it sit for at least 15 minutes um, if you have time ideally uh, but if you don't then then it's fine you know if you can just sit for five minutes that's fine too but 15 minutes is actually good time for you know the spices to penetrate and the chicken you know to become tender with the lemon juice heat the instant pot turn on sa saute mode and so here press the saute button and it turns on you can see some you know time showing up there which doesn't matter just press the button twice so that it comes on medium and now I'm adding two tablespoons of olive oil you can also add ghee if you like and then I'm adding all the whole spices uh, which includes cardamom bay leaves cloves black pepper and some cumin seeds and now I'm adding the sliced onions. I've used about two medium sliced, uh, medium sized onions that I've thinly sliced. Now I'm also adding the salt here again, a teaspoon. Remember, we've already added a teaspoon of salt to the chicken. And then adding again a half teaspoon of turmeric, uh, half a teaspoon of uh, red chili powder, two teaspoon of coriander powder. And then again, two teaspoon of the biryani uh, masala. Again, as I said, um, I'm using homemade. Uh, the recipe for which is included in my on my website. Um, otherwise, you can use store bought or you can use even garam masala. Now stir it for about two minutes, and then cover it and cook it for two minutes. So now I'm opening it after the two minutes are done. The onions have softened up a little bit and adding the marinated chicken along with the marinade. Stir it well so that all the chicken pieces are coated with the onion and the spice mixture. And now I'm adding sliced potatoes. 
I forgot to show you that before but you know you could add a um, few slices of potatoes also here I love to have that in my biryani and next I'm adding the soaked rice that I had shown you earlier but I drained all the water so I'm if you can see I'm only adding the rice you know after draining the water because we need to add a measured quantity of water so we add uh, about one and a half cups for every one cup of rice and since we had one and a half cups of rice um, I've added two and quarter cup of water here now stir well so that you know everything gets mixed together properly and all the spices and the salt and everything is mixed into the water make sure the rice is you know below the water level so then that way you can be sure that it will cook well so yeah that's what I'm doing trying to push all the rice down some of the chicken pieces and the potato can be on top that's fine now close the pot turn the valve to ceiling position and uh, you know press the pressure cook button and put the timer to eight minutes now eight minutes are done and now we'll release the pressure manually so I'm releasing the pressure manually there so this is right after the eight minutes and then open the pot carefully and as you can see everything is nicely cooked now while it is hot don't stir it too much and let it cool so just keep the lid open and let it cool for a few minutes and then slowly stir it so you can see the rice is all well cooked but again when it's very hot don't try to mix mix it or stir it too much because then the rice will break apart and you don't want that so now add the fresh cilantro and here now I'm adding uh, the saffron because I actually forgot to add that uh, when I added the rice and the water so that's the best step to add it but since I forgot I'm just adding it now even now actually just gives it some good flavor and so I'm just stirring it lightly so that the smell of saffron you know goes into the rice and then last I'm adding some fried cashew nuts so you can fry saute some cashew nuts in ghee or olive oil and add that as a garnish there you go that's your chicken biryani ready if you like my video please click subscribe